Indian Air Force Group Captain Shubhanshu Shukla is back on Earth. After a stay of nearly 20 days in the International Space Station, the Axiom 4 crew have successfully returned to Earth around 23 hours after undocking from the ISS. Hi, my name is Soumya Pele and I'm here to explain how SpaceX's Crew Dragon, which was christened Grace, completed a series of critical maneuvers to make a splashdown off the Pacific. I will also tell you how this mission will be critical for India's own human spaceflight ambitions. Between Monday evening and Tuesday, SpaceX's capsule conducted different orbital phasing maneuvers. Closer to making a re-entry, Crew Dragon first jettisoned its trunk section and carried out the most critical maneuver, the deorbit burn. During a deorbit burn, a spacecraft fires its engines to slow it down and initiate a descent from its orbit into the Earth's atmosphere. The controlled deceleration of the spacecraft is crucial in ensuring a safe atmospheric re-entry. Once Dragon began the process of entering into the Earth's atmosphere, it experienced intense friction which heated up the exterior of the craft to about 2000 degrees Celsius. This period also resulted in a blackout. This was a period of about six to seven minutes when no communication could be established between the ground stations and the spacecraft. It is not specific to this mission, but happens during every human spaceflight re-entry. To withstand this period, the exterior of the capsule is coated with alloys that can withstand such high temperatures, keeping the crew inside safe. After attaining the peak heating, Dragon progressively slowed down. At a distance of about 5,000 meters from the splashdown site, the capsule deployed two drogue parachutes to help stabilize it. Finally, four more parachutes were deployed to bring down the descent speed to a safe range. It then made a successful splashdown off the California coast around 3.01 p.m. Indian Standard Time. As part of the Axiom 4 mission, which is a private human space flight led by the U.S. space company Axiom Space, Indian Air Force Group Captain Shubhanshu Shukla reached the ISS on 26th June, becoming the first Indian to set foot in the facility. While the initial plan was a 14-day stay, the return of the AX-4 was rescheduled last week for June 14th. During his stay, at the ISS, Shukla led seven experiments developed by Indian research institutes while also participating in over 60 scientific experiments in microgravity conditions. Apart from representing its science in space, the Axiom 4 mission is extremely crucial for India because it is preparing for its own first human space flight, Gaganyaan, which is now expected to take flight sometime around 2027. Shukla, who has been training for India's human space flight, is set to return with space flight experience, which is likely to be a gold mine for ISRO, for his Gaganyan crewmates, and also for the entire Indian research community. That was all from me. I am Soumya Pillai for The Print. <laughs>